So something cool about Taiwan is you're everywhere you go, every train station you have, you're gonna at least try to find one visitor center. And the visitor center is gonna show you what to do in the area. And something I like to do in every single station is you open your book, you get your book that has your, which is in my YouTube book, at the back of it, everywhere I go, I get a stamp. So you reach over here and you find the stamp that you want that represents the place that you're at. Maybe that one. This one looks good. This one looks like Tainan. Can you open up a stamp book? Get your stamp all good. And then you stamp it in your book. And there you go. There's the stamp. And then I put the date beside mine to make sure that I remember when I went. Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome to Tainan. We're out here in Tainan and we're going to have a great day. I'm meeting my friend. We're going to go do some cool stuff. We might go to the beach. We might show y'all guys the beach. We might run into some festivals. You never know, Taiwan is a great place. You always find cool stuff to do. So let's go. Let's go on an adventure and let's see. All right, guys. So guys, um, I'm here at the train station waiting for my friend to come pick me up. And something you never see in Taiwan is a group of white foreigners that are all from America. That is freaking crazy, man. It's like, oh, I, I found them. I found a wild pack of Americans. A wild pack of them. They are all close together. <laughs> Hello, we're out here eating at a Japanese-style restaurant. My brother Star. Hey, I'm Star. Hanging out this weekend, this Saturday, and his sister. Oh, yeah. So we're going to have some fun, guys. Have some fun in China. So to got today you guys are in for a treat. This is how you order when you know no English. So you go up to your tea, your, the, your tea shop, go up to the counter, they always, either sometimes they have English, sometimes they don't. You just say, okay, well today I'm feeling a little bit adventurous. I want this one. And then you point at it and tell them, that, and they'll say, oh, this one, and you'll say, yeah. And you say, okay. And they'll say, what size? Or then they'll point at the sizes, and you'll be like, oh, small, medium, or large. Uh, I, I think I'll get a medium because I don't know what it is I'm getting. So then they'll ask you for ice or um, sugar. And usually they have like a, a little thing on the um, counter or something that says half ice, half sugar, and then they'll point and you just point at what you want. So basically, you could come here not knowing any Chinese and order your own tea. And there you go, guys. Now you know. On, getting my hair washed and styled and it's pretty amazing guys something to check out in Taiwan place in Taiwan I'm pretty sure don't know for sure um, but uh, also it's very historical there's a lot of history places to go see when you go there and come here and there's just a lot of cool stuff to do all right guys see you when we get to Yashan so we're out here in Gaoshang and if you want to fly a kite you can come rent a kite from these people and so we're in this park that's really close to like where the shipping container cars come and they're having this like huge like festival kind of thing almost that they're practicing for or doing I don't know but uh, it's gonna be it's really cool you see like all the 
the artwork from like old ship stuff and you see this from this whole park used to be a uh, used to be a uh, what's it called a uh, railroad track so it's pretty cool so all right guys so a lot of people do come here to fly their kites or their big old kites because it's so windy and it's so close to the water and it's pretty cool so you can keep going on the docks and stuff and then you find all this really cool artwork all the way down there's all this really sweet artwork definitely somewhere to come if you want to take like pictures with your friends and have some really original like Facebook profiles or Instagram profiles but like it's cool because it shows like this is like an old docking area where all they would bring all the the shipping containers or not shipping containers shipping stuff and all that junk so like it's really cool that how they've changed it into like stores and painted on the side and made it very artsy and they have like artwork inside of it. I'll show you some of the artwork later, alright guys. So guys, I haven't done a video about a night market, but a night market is one of the coolest things ever. Basically, you're hungry, you want to buy a cool t-shirt, sometimes they even have shoes. This is actually the biggest one in Kaohsiung, and it is amazing. It's going to have all these foods that are in here, and on top of that, it's going to have the electronics, the phone cases, the clothes, the socks, the shoes, the purses, the bags. I'll show you the whole place. Alright guys, check it out. Let's go. Hey guys, we're leaving uh, Gaoshang right now. Gaoshang's pretty cool, it has a train station and then on top of that it has a subway. Alright, bye guys! Go watch Trace Travel, subscribe underneath.